The jungle biome... Okay, what is this thing? Right, let's just keep keep everybody on the decontaminators. Right, we have some glass now, which is cool. There's no way we decontaminated everything already. Wait, what? Holy shit! Wow! Oh! A dead Onbu. Truly a sad sight. This could have all been our fate as well, but we managed to pull through. Thanks to grit, cooperation, and not least for all, your guidance. We should build something to commemorate our continued survival, a monument to cooperation, and it might even be a good opportunity for me to finally pass the torch of leader to you once and for all. The survival monument? Okay. How big is it? Whoa! It's massive. There you go. So is that like game completed? Alright, let's see. So wheat is being built here. Right, corn can't be built here. So wheat, and then beets, and then we can maybe do some tomatoes here. Yeah, I've never seen that guy before either. He just turned up. <laughs> but now he's like, hey, bro, you should build a monument. All right, I'll do it. I'm down. So it seems like there is some kind of like story thing. No, this isn't a tutorial. Because I think I think that's kind of like it's it's an ongoing game, right? So like you survive until you die. Oh poisoned? Oh my god, eighteen are poisoned. What the hell happened? Oh no boo! Stop being poisoned that badly. Fix yourself. Are these growing again? Kind of. Are you out? No. Okay, we're fine. Should be good. Oh shit, the iron's coming in. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Assassination is definitely on the cards. Oh shit, Zeramace the glass blower is poisoned. This is an issue. Cacti disappearing. The wheat is coming back. The corn is everywhere. God, we have so much corn. It's amazing how quickly you can make corn because it comes in like two pieces. Or at least it seems to. So you can just make a shit ton of it really quickly. Which is quite nice. But we're struggling with wheat at the moment. So we have wheat. That, that's going to take a while to make this wheat because we have so many cacti that have to either die or be harvested. And the herbalist is good. Obviously beets and tomatoes. So. Are you tired on boo? I'm glad they gone anywhere. I kind of want to build this spyglass thing though. Actually. Oh, I need four. Never mind. I could get the cottage. But nah, we're good. These little houses are good. 20% resistance. Decent housing quality. Productivity still over 100. The main gear yeah, one with this is going to be the, the glass. It's going to take a while. And also, my iron ore. I'm gonna eventually run out of it. Stone cutters, getting a bunch of the stone. Nice. Rock and stone. 
Okay, so in the jungle biome, mushrooms are just insane. They just grow everywhere. Tomatoes should be the same though. Beads are looking good. I've covered this place. This one is kind of like up and down right now. Oh, the cacti literally can't grow in the jungle biome, which I suppose makes sense. So, so yeah, we only need to change one of our farms into jungle biome. When we need to. Oh, Anubu's chilling. Got ourselves some wood. So do I finally need to put... Nope, I still don't need to put anybody else apart from your boy A10 Thunder on making wooden planks. The iron's done as well, so it's just the glass blower now and also the stone. So the same issue we've had since the start of the game, really. Hey Nago, nice to see you. Hopefully everything's good. Alright, let's make some wheat. And once the wheat starts coming in, from like these two places, we can then uh, start experimenting. Let's just keep getting stone. just gonna have to wait on the glass. I don't actually think we have enough <laughs> we have enough sand. I'm gonna have to go to a sand biome to get this done. Or at least pass one. So we've created a society here which isn't very perfect. Um, like it definitely has its issues, but I feel like it's gone all right. Like we've been able to, we've been able to create a pretty nice little setup. See all the corn here, not doing anything because it can't grow. But we do have some wheat. Like this part of land has like three or four different sets of food on it. We got the corn, we got the beets, I think everything else died. This one has corn and tomatoes. Ah, uh, cactuses can grow everywhere, yeah, but maybe not in this game. So all I'm really doing is waiting, so we can, we can bump up. We have a ton of unemployed guys not doing anything. Once the stone slabs is full, then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. I'm waiting for the... Alright, the wheat has started to come in. So... Put these guys back in. And then once they start changing this to that, we can start letting the bakery start going. Slowly but surely. Wait, why are many of my villagers poisoned? Why do I f- What? Anubu! Oh, fuck me. It's because we're sat on the bloody ground, isn't it? Anubu, my dude. You've gotta- you gotta wake the fuck up, brother. We're all just gonna die. 32-15. It's just petting. I 
Oh my god, we might actually lose a bunch of guys here. <clears throat> Maybe I should have made another doctor's quarters. Oh shit, these guys have just been sat here the whole time. Remember, a lot of the it takes a decent amount of time for these guys to actually die, so we should be okay. But I, I kind of need him to wake up because we're in poisoned land right now. Oh, Pesky is very ill. Four of them are badly poisoned. Okay, this might actually get out of hand real quick. Oh, Monet. Monet's saved. He's not badly poisoned anymore. That's good. I might not actually have enough... Have enough of the dudes. Alright. Let's just get the bakeries back going so I know where everybody is. We have 11 badly poisoned. Anubu, wake the fuck up, please. Come on, get up. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have a bunch of people die on me. Come on. Thank you. Actually, there's not enough. We can get some of these working, but not all of them. Okay. Hopefully we can get these people fixed. Or we might have a few people die here. I can't have an Ubu fall asleep here because it just, it completely fucks me on the poison front. Biggie's massively poisoned. No, you're not dead, Creeper Killer. I still think you're slinging shit. Let's see. Oh, you are infected. But you are alive. Just. Right, this is priority. So we can employ one village doctor and then kind of go from there. But we have enough herbs. There's no me. So yeah, jungle bad. But I think it's also because you have the spores around the place. But as long as we stay high, we should be okay. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, at least we're stocked up. Because we can, we can create another village doctor. And then if needed, it can be used to, uh... It can be used to heal people. Right, six are badly poisoned. Right, they're, they're catching up slowly. But they are getting there. Hopefully nobody dies while they try and do it. God, this is just a mess. We're actually losing food at the moment. The bakeries can't keep up with demand. Well, the ironwork's done great. Do we actually have any stuff left? Oh, we do, nice. The glass is doing great as well. It's literally just being moved straight to the survival monument. I don't think anybody's gonna die. Um, but we'll have to see. Sean Ramsey's not looking good. Oh, somebody else is being healed. Who's this? 
Challenger 3, so they're healed now, so... As long as the doctors get to everybody, it should be alright. Five left who are really badly poisoned. I only see like one of them though. Oh, man pig's kind of fucked. What are you at? 19? Rock and stone. Can maybe get some mushrooms, but nah. Let's go over here. This is being built. Only three are badly poisoned now, including Creeper Killer. <laughs> I don't know where the other guys are who are poisoned. This guy's still poisoned. Who's this? Two leg. He's struggling. Oh, who's this? Akamuto. Akamuto is also pretty, pretty screwed up. You complete a survival monument as you die. <laughs> Will be a funny turn of events. It's gonna take ages to do this because I don't I don't have the sand for it and I don't know how to get sand. Like this just this just gets stone. So the only way to get sand is is by going to the desert. Our wheat field should be kind of getting sorted now. This one's pretty good. Anubu seems unsure where to go. Well, I think going that way might be a better option, but who knows. Frozen wastes probably won't make it to the desert, you know. Maybe we can find some sand in some deserty places. We'll uh, we'll focus on doing the deserty places. Right, only one is badly poisoned now. So we've caught we've caught up. We still got a lot poisoned though. I don't know if there's like a spore or something around here, but I don't think so. I think we're good. Monument's looking nice. Another piece of glass. But yeah, so it takes seven. So they have one in the inventory. We have 20. So seven, 14. Uh, well, we have 28. So seven, 14, 21, 28. So I can make four pieces of glass. And this needs 50. So yeah. Gonna be a bit bit behind the times. Do you think it's worth it to count? Does it look good? If we get this doctor up and get it sorted, then that can uh, that can be quite nice. You know. Uh, Yeah, I haven't played it either. I just saw the um, saw the funny videos. The bakeries are like pumping out bread as quick as they can, but the the bread just gets eaten up like straight away. Yeah, let's fill them up. Let's go. We had a pretty good time of it last time with just having one wheat field thing. So I feel like once once both wheat fields go like full bongo, which is kind of what they're doing now. It should be quite nice. 
The main issue is this one has a bunch of corn in it, which, you know, obviously isn't very useful. Should get rid of some of these. Because these are, this is just corn, so it's not going to grow. Clean up this flower bed a little bit. The question is, can they harvest it even though it's not ready to go? Can they half harvest it? How does it work? Evening crew points, nice to see you. Hopefully you're doing well. We have several weed farms. We have this one. Oh, they do harvest it. Alright, good. So this is a way we can use to clean up the uh, clean up the thing. So it isn't such a mess. Yeah, we got some quite quite nice setups here. Two more stone slabs, that, and then that's done. And this just needs stone slabs and glass. Have you heard about the upcoming game of Steam called Farmer Wars? <laughs> no. I have heard of Final Frontier though. That looks pretty fun. Four team wood, good. Right, let's go here. Manubu's got food, he's going to be able to sleep. This is fantastic. We're nearly up to day 100. We're going to have to let him sleep though. So doctors are going to have to be ready. It's kind of a mix between Carmageddon and GTA. That's a hell of a crossover. <laughs> Uh, that's uh who destroyed my path that's definitely not something I thought I would hear in the same sentence alright day 99 if our boy goes to sleep which he will do eventually we're gonna we're gonna have to doctor it up, so we're gonna have to be ready to go. We'll have one doctor move herbs, and then we can always reinforce if needed. Because we can move them out of the bakeries. They're not actually doing anything in the bakeries; they're just kind of existing. So yeah. Hey, another night. Nice to see you. No kids yet. No. We have brought. We have picked up a lot of nomads though. Hey Anna, nice to see you. Hopefully you're doing well. Did you hear that story about drug dealers offering discounts in honor of the Queen's death over the weekend? <laughs> no. <laughs> that is kind of funny though. <laughs> oh boy. Is my race infertile? I have no idea, but if you can find me a human that can breed in three months, I'll create you a super army. Alright, your slabs are going quick now, so we should be good. Might actually be able to make everything stone pass pretty soon. Alright, there we go. The corn is being made. Maybe the issue is we, uh, we don't have enough mills. Oh, they just need to get up to tempo. Maybe we just need one more. Oh, thank God he didn't eat the stones. That could have been a pain. All right, so we need a desert biome or we need to go search certain areas of the desert. My mushrooms are doing great. 
creeper killer is going to make a bunch of dung. 17 out of 20 though. We're going to have to start storing it in places. Fourteen wood. On to the next one. Once this is done on stone slabs, then we can kind of just chill. Don't have a lot of laborers right now, but we don't need a lot. The lonesome dung eater. Who is our dung collector? Feliza. And our compost man is due. These two have uh, been very good. AD Brazy is poisoned yet again. Bellinor is fine. Our berry trees are finally at 100% efficiency. Oh shit, somebody's dying. Merging Con is kicking the bucket. Kinda surprised we've had nobody die. Yeah, so the reason why I have three doctors here is just so just so we can solve everybody who's poisoned and then also move all the herbs from here over to there. So I think we're going to have to keep six doctors right now just because he's going to fall asleep here and the ground toxicity is high. So it's going to be a bit of a pain for him. Have you heard about the drug abusers who got disappointed when they heard the super speed as a ship? Oh god. <laughs> Do you see the fish that scientists decided to crap on? No, I didn't. That sounds very free money though. Is that actually true? They decided to just take a shit on on some poor fish. Very rude. Everything's running at pretty good efficiency right now. It could obviously be better. You know how it is. Oh, we have a lot of decomposing wheat over here. Bony-eared ass fish. Jesus. Fresh air, nice. Yeah, maybe I made this farm a bit too big. We don't actually have enough general laborers to, to sort it out. These guys should be super happy with life in this place. Right, so, okay, so there's no ground. Okay, so we're good. There, there's no toxicity at all. So we should be completely fine now. You have a farm on top of a titan? Yeah. So this is Onbu. He's our uh, land. And this is our little area. So this is the industrial area. We have an iron furnace, a glass blower, dung collector, our scavengers, and a compost heap. This is what we call the agricultural area. So we have four separate farms, one doing wheat, another doing wheat, and then beets, and also tomatoes. These change depending on which biomes we're in. Then we have a herbalist who just literally makes herbs. So, um, for the village doctors uh, and also uh, for those guys. And then we have decontaminators, just in case we get poisoned. And then we have the feed the beast uh, setup and then tell the beast what to do setup. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, the. I do need to do a few things now though. Ah, 40 out of 40, nice. So, one of the upgrades I gotta do 
Because I gotta upgrade the roads. So, I should focus on that. I don't know what roads most people use. Maybe this. Seems like a lot of people are there for some reason. But the more we upgrade the roads, the quicker everybody will be. 